Hello folks, the first result from a Samsung Galaxy S23 has been discovered in the Geekbench database. This also makes it the first Snapdragon Agent 2 result. There is a bit of speculation here, but the SMS911U should be the US version of the S23 and the code name Kalama is very likely to refer to the next flagship chip from Qualcomm. Being made on TSMC's 2nd gen 4 nanometers process node, the Snapdragon Agent 2 can afford peak clock speeds akin to an Apple A series chipset. It has 3.36 GHz and consequently some very high benchmark scores. Those faster core clocks led to outstanding first Galaxy S23 benchmark of 1524 in single core and 4597 points in the multi-core test respectively. For comparison, the S22 gets a tad above 1200 and 3200 points respectively. Not only that, but the Galaxy S23 Snapdragon Agent 2 seems to also be on par with the iPhone 14 Apple A15 processor, at least in the multi-core results, despite being clocked much lower and it only gives way to the new Apple A16 in the 14 Pro Max. Not only will the Galaxy S23 Snapdragon Agent 2 processor be very fast, now backed with leaked benchmark evidence, but Qualcomm has reportedly optimized it for efficiency as well. The second gen 4 nanometers process of the TSMC's foundries should offer Qualcomm a lot of leeway to fine-tune its power consumption while keeping the performance intact. The Snapdragon Agent 2 will report reportedly support one fast Cortex X3 core that provides a 25% performance boost over the X1 and the Snapdragon Agent 1 models, as well as two Cortex A715 and two Cortex A710 lumped together in a cluster, and three low-key Cortex A510 clocked as can be seen at a 2.02 GHz maximum. This way, Qualcomm can turn on and off cores with much more varied power draw performance ration envelopes depending on the task at hand, ensuring optimal battery consumption at all times. A few other things to note from this test, the base Galaxy S23 will come with 8GB of RAM, just like its last three predecessors, and it will run Android 13, but that's not much of a surprise. Finally, the GPU is listed as Adreno 740, the Gen 1 chips used Adreno 730. Unfortunately, no one has found a result from a European Galaxy S23 phone. For a while, it seemed all but certain that the 2023 models will use Snapdragon exclusively. But you know, it's not 100% confirmed. Samsung shared its latest achievement in advance advanced memory technology, an LPDDR5X dynamic random access memory chip. The new memory reaches 8.5 gigabits per second speeds, which is the industry's fastest speed for DRAM. It comfortably surpassed the maximum speed of 7.5 gigabits per second that was achieved back in March. The jump of 1 gigabit per second is a remarkable feat for the mobile market. This will enable the manufacturing of faster, more capable devices with improved 5G capabilities and more opportunities for AI assistance. Work. LPDDR5X technology is not new on the market. A bunch of smartphones even already adopted the platform, but the new memory will allow even higher speeds to be achieved with minimal internal redesign. This fact is made even more noteworthy with Samsung confirming that the speed is retained on Snapdragon mobile platforms. So, as the latest chip speed has been achieved on a Snapdragon chipset, it's safe to assume that we will see more of this partnership with the expected Galaxy S23 series, which is set to launch early next year. We can possibly expect a positive impact on battery life and improved multitasking capabilities on the S23. One thing is clear, the impact on actual performance will certainly depend on the overall components of a specific device. The outlook thus far is great for the upcoming Galaxy S23 series, but we will have to wait for the full spec sheet in order to make any safe bets. Guys, share this video with your friends, thanks for watching, good luck to all!